In this video, we will learn how to select and uh, transform, uh, meaning uh, reposition or move and rotate and scale uh, the selected game object using the Unity uh, UI, uh, like so. So this is the movement and we could apply rotation and also the scale and the scale could be applied even scale or uh, uh, scale for each axis differently like so and also we could do the transformation using the local uh, axis or global axis like so to start i have a number of 3d game objects so i have a playing cube and sphere over here and i have materials inside materials folder assigned to them and two extra material one is highlight one is selection i assign a magenta color to it but feel free to have any colors uh, you desire and we'll use these later and uh, so uh, first select the game object that you would like to be selectable uh, later on the runtime and uh, add a, a tag a selectable tag to them so we don't have that tag so we add the tag selectable so click the plus and then selectable with capital s and select the game object that you want to be selectable in the runtime in my case they are the cube and the uh, sphere and assign the selectable uh, uh, name uh, or tag to them. Next, we will quickly add the UI elements and I'll put a link to a video in the description that goes into how to add these elements but in a slower pace. So next we'll be creating the script. So under the assets, I'll create a new folder. We'll name it scripts. And inside that folder, we'll create a new C sharp file. And we'll name it transform UI. And we'll also create an empty game objects to hold that script so I'll just create empty we'll name it similarly transform UI and then I'll drag the script and drop it into the new game object select it to make sure it's there and I'll double click to open it in Visual Studio so I added the C sharp code here and I'll put a link in the description to it's a GitHub link that contains all the code over there and you could download that and use it. And once you have the script here, control S to save and we go back to the editor. Inside the editor, we select the game object that the script is attached to, and I think there is an error. Oh, I misspelled transform to transform. So, sorry about that. Transform UI. Okay, and so if we... Uh, so if we select the game object, now we'll need to assign the public variables that is needed. So first it's need the material, we go to the materials. I've created a new material, two materials, one for highlight, one selection. You could select any material you like. So I'll drag the highlight material there and, oh, sorry, the selection material there. And it's required the input position X. So we'll go by the position and uh, that's input uh, field X or so position X, we'll drag it here. And similarly for the Y, drag it and for the Z, drag it here. And now it's require the rotation, so we'll expand the rotation, input field X, we'll drag it here, input field Y, we'll drag it here, and input, input field Z is here, and then we'll go to the scale group, and similarly uh, we get the what it's required, scale X, input scale X, which is this, field X, 
is here and the y is there and the z is here and then the axis drop down uh, game object which is under the axis equal over here this is the drop down so we'll just drag it here and the scale drop down which is under the scale and this is the scale drop down we'll put it here Next, we need to assign methods to the input field. So we'll go to the position, we'll select input field X and go down and to the on and edit, we click plus and drag the game object to, its, to which the script is attached over here and then access its uh, methods and it would be set position X, set pos X. And similarly, we'll do it for the input field Y on end edit plus drag the game object and select set pos Y and input field z on end edit plus drag the transform ui and go to a set pos z and that's for the position similarly we'll do the same thing for the rotation assign methods for its input field so we'll select the input field on end edit as well plus drag the transform ui and access its method it will be set rotation x and input field y similarly set rotation y and input field C plus track the game object or the script and set position rotation Z. And next would be the scale input field X on end edit plus track the script and then would be set scale X input field Y drag it and set scale Y and Z on end edit. Set scale C. Next, we need to assign methods to the drop downs. So we'll start with the axis drop down, drop down axis. And on value change, we hit the plus button and then drag the game object that contains the script and access the script transform UI. And we will select on axis drop down change method that we have in the script. And similarly, for the scale, we select the drop down scale on value change plus drag the game object that has a script and access the script and we'll select on a scale drop down change. So I'm gonna save and then hit the play. And in the play, I'm just gonna change the resolution to full HD and oh, that shift happened. So not to worry because we have the uh, everything in a group. So I could just select uh, these groups, axis, position, rotation, and everything, and just move them to where they should be like so. And now if I play again, it fits in the place and I could select the game object, each game object, change its position like so, change its rotation like so, and change the scale. And we'll change to even or not even scale. And also we could shift between local and not local. So I just want to bring it down and, and yeah. And we'll change from local to global again. So we could control everything or put it back to the way it was if we want to, like so. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.